It looks a mess. I ain't never seen that like this in my life. Tequila Cherry says the more she looks, the less she sees down Morris Ford Road. Everything I see in any area in this area is flat. It's on the ground. And a lot of people are walking around looking for bodies and people and a lot of people, they don't know where they're at right now. Bertie County officials counted four tornado touchdowns and they're still counting the dead. We tell Sheriff Holly we heard there could be six lives lost. Probably at least um, that or more. Um, it's probably going to be more. So workers keep looking. Emergency crews had been combing this area not long ago, going through wood beams and all kinds of debris. This used to be a home, and one emergency worker says they had heard a voice of a woman calling for help. That voice stopped a while ago. No one was found. What you do find is remnants of life in wreckage. A bathtub stands higher than the house it was in. A chandelier fallen on a power line. Clothing, paper, I mean, parts of the house is just, just everywhere. It's really sad. So much destruction, it's easy to get turned around with so much out of place. In this part of Coltrane, there's this vehicle and then two behind me that emergency officials say originally were not on this side of Morris Ford Road. Originally, before the storm hit, they were across the street, but somehow made their way here, where there's nothing recognizable. You just got to start over, that's it. Kadrill Freeman sees room for a fresh start. I got my, my sister, my grandma, my family. And he's got his grandfather's burial flag, the first piece of that fresh start. In Bertie County, Carly Swain, News Channel 12. She's going to be sadly missed by both of us. Robert Tatum can only wrap so many words around this mess. A flag flies low to the ground. That's the spot where two brothers found their mother. 60-year-old Gail Hinchy almost went to the beach this weekend, but stayed home. She wasn't feeling good. That's the only thing we was happy with, that she didn't suffer, that it went quick. Robert and Melvin say a tree sailed across the road and hit their mother's home. A woman who had gone deaf in her golden years could only see the storm coming. While these sons can only imagine their mother's view of this storm, Paul Jernigan knows exactly what his mother saw. Mama was sitting in a chair right, right there, right side that uh, big picture window. Knowing his mom is recovering in the hospital, Jernigan shows us the damage to his home on New Road. Moved it from, from here to here, and it moved it just about over the air conditioner. Chickens peck around the yard, their coop destroyed, the remnants of this man's childhood playground. Paul Jernigan says he remembers climbing this 70 or 80 year old pecan tree when he was a boy. Now it's a little easier even for us to climb because it's toppled completely on its side and back in the branches here you can see little bits of metal from siding of his home. A momentary lapse to good memories of climbing that tree. And get fussed at. Mm -hmm interrupted by silence of reality. A silence Robert Tatum breaks when we ask if you could tell your mom one thing before this. I love her very much. And then she's going to be missed. Ava Morris takes a walk with us. It was a house. Yeah. Um, it wasn't like a, a facility setting. The rubble in front of us, Morris Family Care Home. Ava was a caretaker here. And I enjoy taking care of my, whether they're my residents, some people say clients, but I call them my babies. That's why she got here so fast Saturday night after a twister ripped through. I don't care anything about the building. It's just my babies. My babies. Ava got her clients to the hospital, except for two. She found one body herself. <laughs> I love them so much. A man and a woman, one older, one here. younger, lost here. The names of the two found here have not been released yet. Now, in the last two days, we've talked to three different sets of family and friends, all who say they've lost someone in this storm, and they're sorting through wreckage just like this, riddled with haunting memories. But I was hoping and praying that there was a pulse, but I wanted to know that my babies were okay.